people often tell me about new products and most of the time I'll try the ammunition or take a look at the rifle or whatever the product is and usually they're interesting and they have some uh, compelling features or something that I hadn't thought of. Anyway, recently I came across a line of products that I just had to bring to your attention. It's ammunition made in Mexico. Maybe you're already familiar with it, um, but they've done some things that I think are exceptional and worth mentioning. The company is Aguila, which I guess means eagle, and um, here are the different types of ammo, and I'm going to look at others, but this Aguila made in Mexico ammo uh, does something quite extraordinary. So this loading here is called Colibri, 22 Colibri, and in case you didn't know it, Colibri means hummingbird. It's a very, very light loading. The, the bullets are only 20 grains. The velocity is very low. I think it actually says the velocity on the box, but um, I, I didn't look too closely. It's very, very quiet. This sounds like a, a stapler and could easily be used indoors. I think it may only have a priming compound. I'm not sure there's any powder at all. Very quiet, very accurate. Uh, the subsonic lead 40 grain solid point, this is an extraordinarily accurate ammunition and I've been shooting a lot of these rounds and um, these compare with quite expensive rounds from Europe and then my favorite is the amazing 60 grain 22 subsonic sniper round when I first fired this ammunition I thought that it would be um, very weak with with uh, with a very heavy bullet moving extremely slowly and what I could compare it to is a um, is a is a long rifle uh, it's not that silent it's not as loud as a long rifle but the cool thing about it is because the velocity is low and the bullet is big uh, the, the, this round deposits all the energy in the target so you'll have to kind of read between the lines here but if you're if you're after targets and you want all the energy of the bullet in the target, I mean this throws uh, small targets which is quite remarkable to observe. So it's not passing through as you'd expect with a 22 long rifle, even the hollow points. They have all this energy but what's the point if the energy is in the shrubbery in the background? But these 60 grain bullets are something else to observe in action. <laughs> I highly recommend that if you have any issues in your farm or garden, get these Ag Aguila uh, 60 grainers, and uh, but, but they're all fun. And then I put the CCI Quiet 22 on the table just because I had mentioned it in the past. And I've been shooting all this ammo in this rifle. This is uh, CZ, it's, I think they call it the Jaguar. The model designation is 455. If you can buy these, maybe they're discontinued, I don't know. It's got a 28 inch barrel. Of course, you could run around with a silencer depending on what country you live in and whether you get licensing and all that. But frankly, with the, with a long barrel 22, uh, these are virtually undetectable. They're very, very quiet rounds and all highly effective, especially that 60 green. And then um, Aguila also makes this fantastic little um, mini uh, slug loading. And those are actually remarkable as well. So it's, it's a line of cartridges, obviously made to the highest quality standard, and they've got some kind of good imagination happening. And I noticed that they offer a 300 blackout. I'll get a hold of some of that ammo with a 150 grain bullet. And uh, that, looks, that looks quite compelling. I hope, they, I hope they have success in the market. It's nice to see something different on the shelves and these Calibri loadings and the 60 grain subsonic sniper are exceptional. They also offer regular 22 loadings, although I didn't see a 22 short loading, but it could be that they make that as well. And then I just put on for comparison the standard Remington slugger, but it could just as well be uh, Winchester or Federal. Uh, anyway, not often that I have so such a glowing um, review 
of a product, but this Aguila or Aguila um, ammunition is, is something else. And you'll hear people pronounce it, but when I went to the store asking for Aguila, the guy said, you, you mean Aguila. So you kind of have to be flexible out there, but you all know that. Anyway, that's it. Um, just get a hold of some of this ammo and let me know what you think about this 60 grain 22 rimfire ammo. That's it, and thanks for watching. We'll see you again.